Okay, today we've got a Muscle Machines Old Smoky 1949 Ford F1 pickup. It's model 19 and it is ultimately made by my Easto. It's from the 164th collection and it's made for eight years of age or above. And very cool, got a display stand included with it. Nice, nice little model. I'll flip around here to the back, just for kicks and giggles. And Series 4's got Old Smoky 49 Ford pickup, F1 pickup. Uh, number 20 is 1986 Audi Sport Quattro S1E2. Number 21 is Gene Winfield's 1961 Cadillac Maybelline. Number 22 is 1949 Mercury. Number 23 is 1993 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra. And number 24 is a 1987 Buick GT, or is that a GNX? GNX, I believe it is. Nice packaging. Go to www.musclemachines.com to see a little bit more about this machine. And let's open her up and take a look at what Maisto has in store for us today. Old Smoky 1949 Ford F1 pickup, number 19 in the series. Nice looking truck, but let's put it this way. This is not a 164th model by any means. It's probably twice as big as a 164, so what, a 132nd? Regardless, it's a good looking model. Got tons of tempo on it. Got a lot of retro look to it a lot of scratched up paint got a big beefy motor got a nice stand comes with a nice stand look at that yeah right out of the box something you don't get with a lot of cars so a lot of value for the money here let's take it off the stand real quick by the way it's got uh, muscle machines there and then they got the car itself let's just highlight the car okay Put it there, maybe we'll get it centered up properly. Maybe zoom in just a little bit. And we got a lot of stuff on this car. A lot of stuff. Let me find myself a pointer here. We'll just use this ink pen. Chuckles Garage, Santa Rosa, California. Pretty cool. Got Toyo tires up on the big wing there. Amsoil right there. I think this one says Garrett, if I'm not mistaken. The owner of the truck is going to be Scott Birdsall. And then we've got Gran Turismo 128 right here on the door. And then right here we've got Dynamite Diesel. And then along the running board we've got Dynamite Diesel. Let's see, I think we've got, I think we've got Garrett again, if I'm not mistaken, and then Toyo tires. So pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then Toyo got a nice Toyo tires on the on the tires themselves. I don't know if you can see that or not. My hands are getting in the light, but on the tires got Toyo tires on those as well. Look at that motor on this bad boy. Wow. Nice detail on that. I think going with the 132nd size, you get a lot more ability to hone in on details and the like. So, once again, nice looking truck. Let's spin her around so you can take a look, see real quick. Toyo tires on the front. Garrett on the scoop there on the front end. Air dam. Gran Turismo up on the windshield. Love the scratch look on the on the roof line there. Dynamite diesel on the fender. Looking good, looking real good. Basically set, same set of tempo on the right side as on the left side except for the, the name of the owner of the truck. So nothing different there but that name. What's he got in the back? Looks like fuel cell. And then you guys that are more familiar with 
with drag racing, have to tell me what that is all in the back. Looks like some sort of roll cage, strength and roll cage and a fuel cell. And then I have no idea what that big, almost looks like a cooling element of some sort. Got, got ripples and fins across it, looks like. But love the blue. Blue's a good looking color on this truck. Let's spin around to the rear there. Take a little look-see there. Got Ford on the rear. Nicely painted tail lights there. Love the big wing. Boy, that thing would keep it down on, on the drag strip. Got a rear diffuser. Pretty cool. Really cool, in fact. And then spin it on around. Let's check a look at it there. Coming back around where we were. Then let's flip her over on her side. Let you look at her there. Very nice truck, very, very nice truck. Then flip it over onto the bottom. See what we got on the bottom. Got a couple of copyright things there. Got some decent modeling on the bottom actually. Got a muffler there and diff. Don't have much of a tranny there. But, hey, what do you expect? So, wheels are different. The tires are different sizes. Wheels are different sizes. Let's see if I can spot where this made. Well, it's made in China. I already seen it on the package. So, nice truck. Nice truck. Go out and get yourself one. Look great on your shelf. It's going to look great on mine. Looks great on this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Tell me something I don't know in the comments and have a great day.